half a million pounds lower still. But HTV's chairman denied suggestions that the company had bid more than it could afford. No, on the contrary, uh, we think it's a bid that will um, uh, not only um, allow us to maintain and indeed improve the quality of our programming, but will also give a, a fair return to our shareholders. HTV's license will run for 10 years from 1993, with an option for a further 10 years after that. Today, the company stressed its bid was more than just about cash. It's promising at least an extra hour a week of local programs, plus more local dramas and documentaries. Well, one of the reasons that we've won the franchise is because of the quality of the programme promises we have made. And one of the biggest strengths of HTV is doing programmes for the West region. And we will do more of those, different uh, regional programmes. We'll build on the strength that HTV has had for the last uh, 20 years. But rival bidders said they were disappointed. Merlin congratulated HTV, but said they would watch with interest to see that it kept its promises. C3W said they hoped the viewers would be provided with a good service. C3WW said they were baffled that their proposals hadn't passed the quality threshold. While HTV was proclaiming its success, two neighbouring ITV stations learnt they'd lost their franchises. Both the Southampton-based TVS, who lost to Meridian TV, and the Plymouth-based TSW, who were beaten by West Country TV, say they plan to appeal after it was ruled that their bids were too high. The West Country station is led by the head of the BBC in the West, John Prescott Thomas. This is the third time that HTV has won the franchise for Wales and the West. It took over in 1968 under Lord Harlech and won again in 1981. So HTV and its staff finally know exactly where they stand. But the task ahead is a tough one, to deliver more programmes of a consistently high quality while paying more for the privilege of doing so. And all this is against a highly unpredictable background of advertising revenue, which is the lifeblood of commercial television. So then, it's business as usual here. We're so pleased, all of us, and we hope that you are as well. And we don't often get a chance to celebrate, do we? But of course.